guys, it's Courtney from Your House Fitness and I'm here to show you some of the exercises that I do to uh, get ready for some heavy, heavy squats. Okay, maybe not heavy squats, but you know, heavy squats for me, all right? Um, I typically will do these five exercises just to make sure that my hips are warmed up or primed as I like to call them, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the black band, okay? The black band is the heavier band. Again, don't feel bad, you can start with whatever band you want, but I'm gonna start with my lateral shuffle. So my first thing is going to be to try to prime my hips or my root knees. Okay, so I'm basically gonna start shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna start with the band about an inch above my knees, okay? And I'm gonna assume kind of a quarter squat position here. I always want tension on the band. What I don't want you to be doing is letting your feet come together and look what's gonna happen, the band's coming down. Always remember tension on the band at all times. So my home base position is shoulder width apart, okay? From there, I step wide, and then I come back to that shoulder width position, okay? Again, tension on the band. I don't want this to happen, all right? I'll say it again in a minute, okay? I'm kidding. <laughs> but understand, tension on the band. So what I'm gonna do is 20 lateral steps. Now, if you don't have a lot of room, just do a couple steps to the left, a couple steps to the right. Now, remember, a couple of things to remember is the shoulder width position, keeping tension on the band, and the toes. What I don't want you to do is have your toes out, okay? They're not allowed to be out for this particular exercise, okay? Don't, don't think that I said that for everything. I just said this exercise. Toes are neutral. I want them pointing forward. If you're having a really hard time or you keep cheating and you keep doing stuff like this, I want you to just kind of turn your feet in just a teeny little bit. Think like, uh, you know, if you're learning how to stop on skis, the pizza feet, um, you're gonna tuck them in, penguin walking, whatever you wanna call them, duck walking, and you're gonna try to do something that looks like this. This is an overcorrection, okay? This isn't how you will always do the exercise, but if you're always having a hard time and you keep catching yourself like this, I want you to overcorrect just for the first little bit, okay? Until you can make sure that you can do this with a totally neutral toe, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. We're gonna do 20 laterals total. So I'm just doing 10 on the left, 10 on the right, okay? This kind of idea. Ooh, my hips are already on fire. All right, so there's exercise number one. Exercise number two is my glute kickbacks. I'm gonna show you from the side, okay? So I'm in the exact same position and nothing changed. That's the nicest part, okay? The transition is very fluid. I'm gonna to start to focus on glute max, okay? I'm in my quarter squat position, shoulder width apart, toes neutral. I'm gonna shift my weight to the right side, okay? And I'm gonna do what I like to call my fake skate. I'm gonna kick my leg out, bring it back. Kick it backwards, bring it back, okay? So basically, fake skate, 20 reps, focusing on squeezing my glutes, okay? Now listen, there's a lot of touching of butts here, okay? But I need you to understand this is where you should be feeling it, okay? So I'm gonna keep my core nice and tight, and I got my exaggerated skating arms here, okay? For theatrical purposes, okay? But focus on driving, squeezing your butt. That is literally the sole objective of this exercise. You're probably gonna feel this other places. You have to feel it here or we have some more homework to do, okay? Because this is all glutes, glutes all day, friends. All right, so 20 kickbacks and we're good. All right, I'm gonna switch to a little bit of a lighter band, okay? Well, I'm gonna go with our medium band here. So same thing, just gonna put it on exactly the same spot, nothing changed, okay? All right, and now I'm going to do 20 squats. So now you are more than welcome to have your toes turn out a little bit, no problem, okay? So, taking it easy, I'm gonna assume a wider than shoulder width stance, okay? And then I'm basically gonna push my knees out and I'm gonna sit down, okay? So just remember with a squat, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, don't let your knees go over your toes. Listen to me. If your heels are on the ground and you're short like me, when I drop my heels to go touch my, or drop my butt to go touch my heels, my knees are just slightly over my toe here, okay? I'm short, that's just the way I'm built. But that's what I want it to look like and then you're gonna stand up from there. I'm gonna show you from the side, okay? Slightly wider, toes about 10 degrees tilted outward, okay? And again, I'm gonna push my knees out, I'm gonna drop like I'm trying to sit down on my heels, okay? And then I'm gonna stand up from there, okay? So I'm gonna do 20 squats where my focus is pushing my knees outward against the band, squeezing my bum on the way up, okay? I want you to keep your heels down and drive through your heels and squeeze your butt at the top, okay? So do the best you can with this. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I somehow gravitate to this position because I don't have anything in my hands, okay? <laughs> Usually I have a weight or something here. So 20 squats, focusing on driving the knees out, okay? Against the band, 
against the resistance here. Again, if this is too heavy for you, there's another a lighter option, okay? So feel free to go with that one as well. All right. The fourth exercise I'm gonna do are some lunges. So the band stays exactly the same spot. That's the beautiful thing about the circuit is this band, it's always in the same spot. You don't have to remember anything else. It's right here the whole time. So with this lunge exercise, I'm basically gonna step back into a lunge, okay? Might not be the deepest lunge that I do, but I'm in a lunging position and then I'm gonna drive my knee up against the band, whoops, and squeeze this glute as hard as I possibly can. So I'm standing on my right leg, left knee's coming up as high as I can go. I'm gonna, again, step back, and then I'm gonna drive up as best I can, squeeze my butt as hard as I can, and then relax, okay? This one's harder than it looks, not gonna lie. If you're having balance problems, just do it up against the wall, that's no problem. Um, but eventually I'd like you to be able to freestyle this so you can work on your stabilizing muscles, right? Okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate two more on this side, okay? There's our lunge. And again, the focus here would be this glute, my right glute, whew, and my hip flexor, there we go, on the left side. So I'm just gonna switch gears here. Just do five on the other side so I don't feel like I'm totally crooked walking out of here, okay? So same thing, step back into a lunge, whoops, there we go. And then same thing, I'm gonna drive, okay? Pull this knee up as high as it's gonna go. Focus on this glute as best you can. Squeeze your bum. I want you to do 20 reps, 10 on the left, 10 on the right. And again, if you feel like the band's sliding up, um, it's probably just the pants I have on, okay? But uh, just modify, just move. Oh my goodness. My butt cheeks are already on fire. Whew, I hope the same for you. All right, one more, but you're gonna do 10 on the left, 10 on the right. And then the fifth exercise, I'm gonna take you over to this fancy staircase here, okay? And we're just gonna do some seated abduction work, okay? So, I'm gonna start here. My feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna shift this band down, make sure it's just above the knees. Sit up nice and tall and straight, abs of steel, and I'm gonna basically just push my knees out. So, I wanna squeeze my bum as I abduct my, my legs. I'm pushing them out. I'm exaggerating, I wanna show you that I'm exaggerating this with my feet. So I'm rolling everything I got outward. Every time I push my knees out, I wanna tighten up my abs, squeeze my butt, and push against the band, okay? So again, deep breath in, push, tighten up those abs, squeeze your hips out against that band. And again, if it's not enough resistance for you, go with the black band. And if you're thinking it's too heavy, just go with the lighter band, okay? So I picked the medium band. So if I'm trying to prime my hips here, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job because I can feel them, my butt is on fire in a good way, a productive way, okay? But don't forget about your core, making sure that the total core, your abs as well, are nice and tight. And again, you're gonna do about 20 of those, okay? So go back to the beginning, I want you to do a couple of rounds, okay? You're gonna do 20 lateral shuffle, you're gonna do 20 kickbacks standing, 20 squats, 20 lunges, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, and then 20 of these bad boys. It's just a seated hip abduction exercise, okay? And then uh, you should be ready to rock with those squats, okay? Until next time, guys, stay fit. Woo!